Donald Bell here for CNET.com, giving you a first look at the Parrot Bebop drone. This is a small, lightweight quadcopter, due out this year at an undisclosed time for an undisclosed price. It's got a camera on the front here that captures a raw 14 megapixel image and then processes that down to a 2 megapixel uh, footage. Uh, can capture both still images and HD video content. And the neat trick here with the camera is that it's a fixed camera, so you're not dealing with the weight and the intricate, delicate you know, system of a gimbal on the bottom of this thing like we've seen in some other quadcopters. You use a fixed camera with a fixed fisheye lens, and by using that fisheye lens, it can reprocess the image inside the camera so that you can kind of tilt it around, capture the image you want, um, and play around with it, but without the camera actually moving at all. So that's a neat trick, and it helps cut down on some weight, and uh, it makes the design a little bit more sturdy. Uh, some other interesting things to know about here, you've got a replaceable battery pack. Uh, each battery pack will give you what I've been told is about 12 minutes of flight time, which is about average for something as small as this. It's got built-in GPS, and with that GPS, you can use the app on either iPhone, iPad, uh, Android tablet. You can use the app to uh, navigate a flight path that will fly. You can use the GPS on here to uh, trigger to automatically return back to you if you're a little bit confused about which way is forward and which way is backward on the controls itself. That's a neat feature. We've seen that in some other uh, quadcopters, some competing products too, but it's nice that Parrot is including that on here. Another interesting feature that Parrot's built in here that's the first I've seen is that it will automatically detect if there's something intruding on the propellers. So say you've got a finger in here, it's gonna automatically detect that and shut down all the propellers so that you're not gonna get totally maimed. I think that's a good feature to have. Really the whole system is designed to be flown indoors as well as outdoors. If you're flying this indoors, there's a pair of bumpers that attach to this so that it's not going to uh, you know, bump the propellers. If you fly it into a wall, you fly it into the ceiling. Uh, so that helps protect the propellers. The whole thing's controlled over Wi-Fi using 802.11n or AC. That's going to be communicated to your tablet, either an Android tablet or an, uh, an iPad. If you want some extra range or some more advanced controls, they're also selling a remote control rig that kind of uh, docks your tablet and also extends your Wi-Fi range and also has the benefit of being able to integrate with an Oculus Rift or they're just generically saying some kind of video goggle system. Uh, and with that, you can get a literal bird's eye view of what you're seeing through the camera and be able to control the camera tilt with your head. Really cool. Um, again, we don't have pricing on this. We don't know when it's coming out this year, but we are told it's coming out in 2014. So that is a first look at the Parrot Bebop drone, a very cool lightweight quadcopter that I'm excited to see this year. Seen it.com, I'm Donald Bell.